What up everybody? Today we are going to be completing Casey's journey on the Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore trilogy. Doing their first film together, which is Wedding Singer. She saw Fifty First Dates, mm -hmm. she saw Blended, and a lot of people kind of view this movie as a beginning of a trilogy, even though they're not related in any sort of way. <laughs> but for those two actors, you know, being in the same movie together, this was the first of that. I really liked Fifty First Dates. I really liked the movie Blended. I think that they have good chemistry together. They work well together in movies of the two I've seen. So I'm yeah. really excited. And this one was the first one. So it's yeah. kind of funny that I saw those other two and not this one. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, Casey has not seen a lot of comedies in her life. She's yeah. lived a life of no fun. <laughs> <laughs> and recently we just showed her Happy Gilmore for the first time as well. There's a couple other Adam Sandler films out there she hasn't seen. She's seen a few of the big hitters like Billy Madison, like Waterboy, like Big Daddy. But this is one of the few mm -hmm. out of Adam Sandler's catalog that is like held in high regards that she hasn't seen. Yeah. I will say, I think, you know, if you're looking off the Rotten Tomatoes score, when we saw Happy Gilmore, that was a film that was both held in critic as well as audience high regard. This one is even held in higher regard in both audience and critic as well, too. So I think, you know, in terms of comedies, this might be his highest rated mm -hmm. for both critic an audience. Make sure to check out our Patreon if you want to see our full-length watch-along reaction where you sync up your copy of the movie with us and watch the entire thing from beginning to end. We also have a lot of other exclusive content over there. Also, let us know your comedy recommendations down in the comments below. Maybe we'll watch one of your recommendations. <laughs> so 80s. A Harold would never beat up his landlord. <laughs> He's drunk as shit. Oh. There's always a one at a wedding. Remember that time in Puerto Rico when we picked up those two, uh, well, I guess they were prostitutes, but I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Okay, how about that? <laughs> oh no. And I'm a person too. Oh, You're whoa. A whore. <laughs> the best man, everybody. Best man, the better man. <laughs> Some deep seated issues there. I'm a. Uh, done some crazy things in my life too, but then I met a very special girl. Is it true, Barrymore? I can tell that you're gonna live for each other for the rest of your lives. So cheers. Way to save it. I'd still be mad about the prostitutes. Give me time. I'm trying to look like him. Culture Club! Okay, I don't know who that is, but yeah, that's, they sing yeah. this too, so. Culture Club. She's gonna get it, she doesn't even know it, and I'm gonna give it to her. True, Barrymore! <laughs> I really love Drew Barrymore as an actress. Whoa! Hey! Hey, it doesn't matter how old you are, sir! Old Coke better than new Coke because it's old and so am I. Uh oh! Oh my gosh, I love all the 80s music! Being at this wedding is making me realize that Glenn is never gonna set a date, and I've been wearing this ring for two years and I feel like an idiot. It's not Wait, that's Adam not Sandler. him! Because he said next, whenever. But they are gonna have to somehow get together, right? They're both on the poster! Unless that's not what this is about. Give me time. <laughs> is he just singing the same song again? Couldn't you have prepared more songs? <laughs> You're the wedding singer. Doing? I'm Robbie. I'm Julia. I'm actually waitressing at your wedding next week. <gasps> That's a beautiful ring you have there. Are you getting married soon? Oh, sensitive subject. Actually, I don't know how serious the guy is who gave this to me. Right now, I feel like I'm doomed to wander the planet alone forever. That's a weird thing to say as you're engaged. I feel like you probably shouldn't be engaged. Yeah, that's how you feel. You yes. gotta get back in there. They're starting to turn on George. Do you, really want to suck? Suck? you suck! You know, if you really liked it though, and putting it on a loop, who doesn't do that? I do that. Are you nervous? I'm actually not that nervous. You know, I'm around weddings all the time. It's gonna be fun. Uh, not about the wedding. Uh, about the wedding night. <laughs> first time with him. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of sweet in a weird way. I wasn't a virgin. <laughs> I already had intercourse with eight men. Oh my god! It was a lot back then. That would be like 200 today. <laughs> Inflation! <laughs> Hold out your hands. You want to... Uh, okay. 
Oh. Whoa, not even a container, a Tupperware, or nothing? Take a bite so that I can watch you enjoy. That's my favorite part. Oh. Grandmas. They like to make sure you're fed no matter what. What the heck? You're supposed to marry Drew Barrymore. Maybe that's just like my head cannon. <laughs> Look at the picture of that girl. See that? You're a lot prettier than that girl. And she's getting married. <gasps> Oh! You're gonna hate this idea, but I think you should consider a fake pregnancy. <laughs> it's just a means to Goodness. Live. Believe me, in five years, I'll thank you for it. Motherly advice. She's probably gonna make up um, or her dress or something. I know where she likes to look her best. It'll be okay. Oh my gosh, is he gonna get left at the altar? I feel like this is where this is going. I just got off the phone with Linda's mom. Linda's not there, but... Oh, gosh! There was a note basically indicated that Linda was not coming today. That's so awful to do that pu like publicly, yeah. like not even talk to him before. Or at least like tell him the day before. Just give me a second, I'll, I'll be right back. It's okay, now you can be with Drew Barrymore. She's engaged. She'll break up too. She doesn't even like him, she said. Don't worry, man, everything's gonna be all right. No! Oh god. <laughs> His mascara is already running. <laughs> oh, thanks, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> That's not nice. He's taking it pretty bad. He got left at the altar. He's allowed to take it bad. Check out the cake. There's only a little groom on top. Sad. That's sad. <laughs> this movie's just make, making me sad inside. <gasps> Linda. Trifling. I just couldn't do it. That's your explanation? And I think I figured out what's been bothering me. I'm not in love with Robbie now. I'm in love with Robbie six years ago. Robbie, the lead singer of Final Warning. Not the wedding singer, Robbie. The point is, I woke up this morning and I realized I'm about to marry a wedding singer? Couldn't have, like, woken up six months ago and realized that? Living in your sister's basement with five kids while you're off every weekend doing wedding gigs at a whopping 60 bucks a pop? Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! <laughs> at least he has a job! You just wanted to get married so badly you didn't care to who? That's not true. Oh. Spend the rest of my life with you. Bitch. <laughs> he said what everybody was thinking. He, he, he might have Tourette syndrome. We'll look into it. <laughs> you know what? It is what it is. Move on from her. Oh. <gasps> I know you wanted to set a date, so I went to the travel agent and I sent it. Glenn, I love you so much, but Las Vegas, I thought Jules, you... Jules, it's the romance capital of the world. Mm. Sin City. You know, hundreds of people we don't know that are just there for the free drinks, uh. all-you-can-eat buffet, they might as well be in Vegas. Some people are into that, but some people aren't, and I don't think she's one of them. Las Vegas it is, and it'll be great. Is that really what you want? You gonna do the girl thing? You gonna act happy and you gonna be pouting on the inside? Let's get married here. I know that's what you want. What was the point of, like, saying the Vegas thing? Well, I mean, he booked it, so I think he just oh. kind of gave in, knowing how she is. This reminds me of Stranger... I know it came out before Stranger Things, but it reminds me of Stranger But it was set in the 80s. Yeah, there you go. People are like, this was my before! I don't know, man. Let's bring back this fashion. Well, you know, the 90s is in style right now, so maybe next decade we can get the 80s. I'm maybe ready. In the, maybe in the 30s. Ready. Isn't that so weird to <laughs> oh say? My, I hate that. What the heck? Holiday. Oh, he's gonna sing sad. Celebrate. Don't sing Madonna like this. Oh, no. Just one day. George! <laughs> you guys are off to a great start, don't you think? Cindy showed up, so right away, Scott, you gotta be pretty psyched, right? Hey, I'm not paying you to hear your thoughts on life, I'm paying you to sing. He has a point. Well, I have a microphone. Oh! I don't. Oh! So you will listen to every damn <laughs> oh my thing God. I have to say! You're not gonna get referred to the next wedding. Some of us will never ever find true love. I don't want it! Take, for instance, me. You're saying this? God. I'm pretty sure that guy right there. 
and that lady with the sidebars. <laughs> Leave him alone. Picture. That lady looked like the guy. <laughs> Maybe they could be together. And the mutants over at table nine. <laughs> Professor Xavier would take them. Now let's cut the stupid cake, because I know the fat guy's going to have a heart attack if we don't eat again soon. What's <laughs> this poor guy? <laughs> he agreed. <laughs> Thing they call love, he's gonna make you cry. I hate you. Oh! <laughs> I hate you. Love stings. Love stings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pissed off the father of the bride. They didn't pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie apocalypse? They resorted to biting like a toddler. Yeah, buddy Lee. Pretty much. Except for a few cops that are still interviewing some witnesses. <laughs> Glenn and I set the date. So you have to play our wedding. Congratulations. I, I, I just can't do it, right? He's going through a lot. Now, it's a shame you won't be doing weddings anymore. We won't get to hang out as much. There's other things to do at the reception hall besides weddings, right? Oy, oy, bar mitzvah. <laughs> it's like a bar mitzvah. <laughs> Go, George. What are you going to sing? The same song? <laughs> I still love George. <laughs> well, they dancing. You get out there and dance, buddy. He was in Matilda. He ate the chocolate cake. I want you to take your time and find amongst all these young studs here tonight the coolest, most unlosery guy in the bunch. Pick me, please, Julia. Pick me, please. <laughs> these kids. May I have this dance. Aww. That's all. Whoa! <laughs> hey! He ate cake in Matilda. He grabbed cake in this movie. <laughs> George! Oh, George plays the clarinet! He has other skills. I play the clarinet. Played. Past tense. I still can do it. Give me some sheet music. I can bust it out. That's not weird. <laughs> I played the trombone. Ah! I sucked. I thought you played the tuba. I did. I transitioned. Oh. Halfway through my freshman year in like middle school. Uh, I don't think you call it freshman year. I was yeah. six. I was in sixth, sixth grade. grade. Yeah, sixth grade. I transitioned to bass clarinet. First chair. Last chair. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just grabbing ass. It's a fun bar mit bar bar, bar, bar mitzvah. mitzvah. <laughs> I feel like I quote Ted all this. You know when he's like, "We're a fun hospital. <laughs> We're a fun bar mitzvah." Too, yeah. Yeah. It's me. For now and evermore. He's literally looking at you with love in his eyes. Like, it's meant to be. Look at that wink. You made that <laughs> click. I said <laughs> as soon as he winked. Well, you know, you can just look at a couple and uh, you can tell right away that they're going to stay together forever. <laughs> uh, well, we're not getting married. That's right. Actually, we're brother and sister. Everyone always thinks we're brother and sister. I don't we're know We're not. Why. Just because we have light colored eyes and we have the same complexion. We're a married couple. <laughs> Come here, sis. Ew, I hate this. <laughs> Gross. Okay, you gotta recognize him. The Hitler scene <laughs> is one of the funniest yes. things ever put on film, ever. Yes, it's ladies not home for the night. Chuck Khan! I'm saying that ain't no sock in my garage. Okay, take four, everybody. Four? Why not a full five, you son of a bitch? <laughs> for no reason. Hey man, thank you. Hey, no, thank you. Or should I thank Linda? My business has tripled. Ooh, he's your enemy now. Well, you've just inspired me to hire a DJ. Ooh, she had your back. She's ride or die. Good luck finding a DJ who can move and shake like this. <laughs> he shimmied hard. <laughs> Have you written anything lately? Will you play it for me? I wrote half of it. When I was with Linda and I wrote the other half after we broke up, so it's a little uneven, you know? Hey, well, that could be for a cool song. I quote a lot of the song around Casey. You don't know how much I need you. I feel like I know where this is going because I've heard Anthony sing it. I'm pretty sure you sang it earlier today. I know where- <laughs> I know it. <laughs> what the heck? You <laughs> I didn't mean to spoil. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you hadn't seen this before. But Yeah. <laughs> you sing this all the time! 
Not this part, the next, the part after. I hope you fucking joke. <laughs> it's a banger. Hope I like how it gets quiet again. Bad with what you've done to me. You have a gift. You left me here all alone. Tears running constantly. I love this movie. You better sing the part that you always sing. Oh, somebody kill me, please! Somebody kill me, please! I'm on my knees! Pray, pray, please! Kill me! I'll be like across the house. <laughs> This is where I got it from. <laughs> this happens so often on the uh, channel where Casey finally finds out where I get what I say all the time from movies we watch on the channel. Maybe he can help us. You're the expert on this. We were just having a debate about wedding kisses. Church time. Well, show me. Hey, how about on him? You don't mind, do you? What? Come on, just hold still. Julia, go ahead. That's weird. Like, you're engaged. That's no. Come on, we're all adults here. That's... What? We're okay with cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see it. You don't kiss somebody else when you're engaged to somebody. Well, if it's for educational purposes. Good, okay. This is an eighth grade health. <gasps> oh my goodness. But this kiss might have told her what she needed to know. That that guy's not mm. the one for her. Great. Julia, you should do that at the wedding. I gave her the jacket. <laughs> What? <laughs> Remember the jacket in the limo? <laughs> Kissed her, but it didn't mean anything. Oh my God. I just brought her the jacket. It was a practice kiss. Kissed oh. Her. Oh. oh my gosh. Who hasn't? Whoa. I got you something. <laughs> what the heck? It's called a CD player. Bucks, but the sound quality is outstanding. Oh my gosh, a CD player in the 80s, 700 bucks. Oh my God, Rocky. So amazingly cute. I think I should go out with him. <gasps> but you're engaged? I know. You, you gotta break it off, girl. You gotta break it off. You don't wanna marry him. Good, that guy needs to get laid. Excuse me. Just because he's going out with me doesn't mean he's gonna get laid. <laughs> Alright, he probably will. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the soundtrack of this. I know, it slaps. I completely forgot how great it was. Here you go. <gasps> you dirty dog. Yeah, she kissed somebody else. Still. <laughs> yeah, she's paid her dues, been with me four years. I owe it to her to get married. You do not need to marry him. You want to get married? No, I don't want to break up. He doesn't even care about her. Plus, she was with me before I made my money, so I know I can trust her. Mm -mm. Go with what's his face. What's it? Robbie. Go with Robbie. <laughs> well, we can't get chicks like that anymore. You know, we're too old. Speak for yourself. I'm not too old. I can still get chicks like that. Are y'all that old? Ten years ago. Try ten days ago. <gasps> I puked. <laughs> it's okay, Julia. I vomited in my hair. How? Your hair's so short. Oh, oh smells good actually. He's the one for you. Break up with the other guy. But he has a DeLorean. <laughs> Stay with him. No, I'm just I'm How just could kidding. you break up with that? <laughs> you know what I keep thinking about? What? That soft kiss from the other day. It looked really nice. Did it feel good? That's a weird thing to ask. Don't remember. Could I refresh your memory? No! I mean, technically, this is like not bad because they're both I single. Guess, but it's not good in my mind. Mm. It's not my head cannon. Yummy. That's kind of weird, right? I don't know. Is that weird? Did you not say that after our first kiss? I'm gonna make this really easy on you. If you come upstairs, you're gonna get laid. But he doesn't want you. He wants Drew Barry more. I just, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's kind of a mess right now. Oh, he's such a good guy. I can't believe I never noticed it before. What? You like her. You've got a thing for Julia. Oh, no, I don't. Very nice girl, but she's marrying that jerk off. <laughs> what a tell. I want to get a big house, 
Have some security. Can't do that doing favors for people all the time, getting paid in meatballs. But you're above all that material bullshit. I don't know. We're living in a material world, and I am a material girl. Material <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> you're into material shit. Oh. You're marrying Glenn because he's got money. You asshole. Oh. That was the wrong thing to say. What oh, oh, was blame? I am an asshole. <laughs> what the heck? You're going to the mental institution. <laughs> His nephew. <laughs> Did uh something happen with Julia? The moron she's gonna marry actually tells me he cheats on her. You should tell her. And who am I to break up her marriage? You need a prostitute. She needs to know. Whoa. <laughs> I think I'm in love with her. Aww. But I gotta get that out of my head, you know? No! Play Mr. Still Your Girl. The guy she's with is awful and doesn't care about her. If you found someone you can love, you can't let her get away. Oh, Good friend. Good advice. Do you really like Glenn? What's not to like? He's rich, he's charming, he's handsome, and now he's really got it all because he's got you. All the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart. I just don't know if he's the right guy for me. And I've been spending a lot of time with this other man, Robbie Hart. You're thinking of leaving Glenn for the wedding singer? But like, is she going to leave on her, his, him at the altar too? Because that'd be kind of messed up. Cold feet. Everybody has them. I had them because I should have run screaming down the street instead of marrying <gasps> your father with Glenn. Oh my gosh, that is not like a word of encouragement. You're gonna marry Glenn on Sunday. You're gonna love him, and everything's gonna be wonderful. This is bad advice. If you really do not feel like you should be marrying him, then you shouldn't. Also, he's cheating on you. You don't know that yet. But still. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm Julia Gulia. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Gulia. Right when I wake up in the morning, you're the first person that pops in my head. Aww, that's cute. It's, it's nice to meet you at Mrs. Julia <laughs> Oh, that's not sweet. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Mrs. Robbie Hart. Look how your face lit up. Break up with your fiance. Oh, but look how happy she oh looks. Oh my gosh, but come on. But like, he's thinking. Oh my goodness, no. That she's happy for the wedding. I didn't expect this to be so romance heavy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the slowest freaking little walk of all time. What happened? She just looked way too happy. I couldn't do it. Oh my gosh. Get Robbie a double. Actually, Rudy, don't even worry about it. I brought my own. You can't drink that in here, Robbie. Tash up in the alley. You guys coming? I mean, he was about to buy you a double, so he could have just took that and then went to the alley. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <gasps> wedding singer! Oh, come on. You need to tell her. Listen, we're going to have a little pre bachelor party party. You want to come in and have a beer? You're ridiculous, man. <gasps> Stop all this cheating shit, moron. She's a good girl. Don't go snitching to Julia about this. I know you got some little crush on her. She'd rather go to bed with a real man, not some poor singing orphan. <gasps> shithead. I haven't been in a fight since I was in the fifth grade. Ooh. But I beat the shit out of that kid, so now I'm gonna beat the <laughs> shit out of you. Oh, yeah. oh I did nothing! He's so light! Sorry, I used to be much stronger. Oh. Oh, oh dang it, he caught you off guard. Hey, Fight why don't you write a song about this? You can call it, I got punched in the nose for sticking my face in other people's business. Sounds like a country song. <laughs> <gasps> Linda? What are you doing here? Do not get back with Linda. I really miss you and I want to come back. Never go back to an ex. She left you at the altar. <gasps> no! Is Robbie here? I'm afraid he's uh, indisposed. You must be Linda. Yeah, that's me. Robbie's fiance. Oh my gosh. You can't just take that role back on. Would you tell him that I came by to see him? Oh yeah, I surely will, Jennifer. Hey, it's Juliet. Ah! Sucks. This sucks all around. This is the first day of our new life together. You can't just come back in the picture when you decide to. Like, what the heck? What are you doing here? I told you last night, Robbie. I realized I was wrong and I want to take care of you for good. 
I can learn to deal with the fact that you're just a wedding singer. Oh my God. Learn to deal with. I don't want you to learn to deal with that. You're awful. That's not how it works. You either love him for him or you don't. Please get out of my Van Halen t-shirt before you jinx the pen and they break up. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're still pissed about that wedding thing. That wedding thing. And now he doesn't even know that she was there. I've been doing some thinking and I don't need a big wedding. And I, I think that I've oh. been really selfish in making you do something that you don't even want to do. You want to go to Vegas? Yeah. No, this isn't what you want. There were bells on the hill. <laughs> this is what she was practicing for. I just always envisioned the right one being someone I could grow old with. Oh, that's what you want. I know. I'll go get the car. Aww. <laughs> Such a good friend. She went to your house to tell you she was falling for you, and Linda <sighs> answered the door in her underwear. <laughs> she and Glenn just jumped a plane to Vegas. I said hip hop. I <laughs> jumped to the hip to the hip hop. Up jumped the booty to the rhythm of the booty and beat. <laughs> you want to do some gambling and have some fun right away, or you just want to get married? I just want to get married. Gosh, you should just rush in to get married like this. Does anybody have a pen? What for? I got a good idea for a song. <gasps> He's writing. She's your muse. Sir? Is that Billy Idol? I believe it is. Oh my god. Billy Idol? You mind if we switch seats and I sat in the window seat? I hate the aisle seat. Every <gasps> time that drink cart comes by, it bangs me in the elbows. I just never saw the bright lights of Vegas before. How about I let you lean over me when we fly over the strip? Oh my gosh. Just switch seats! Mm. Next time they come by, grab me a Heineken, will ya? <laughs> Glenn doesn't deserve her. All he cares about possessions. Billy Idol gets it. I don't know why she doesn't get it. <laughs> Some creeping coach who thinks he's Don Johnson just asked me to be part of the Mile High Club. He said I was grade A top choice. <gasps> Are they on the same plane? <gasps> How are they on the same plane? What the heck? I was not expecting this. Dang, what the oh, heck? Is Glenn. They're on this what plane. are the chances no of that? No way! <laughs> All the first class? Right now, we're bringing you some in flight entertainment. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. All I want to do is you. Aww. Build you a fire if the furnace breaks. He has a good voice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Flight attendants are on his side. <laughs> and Billy Idol. You better get out of my way, Billy. You're gonna get hurt. Don't you talk to Billy Idol that way. <laughs> Join the Mile High Club yourself. That was the most beautiful song. That song was about you. <laughs> I'm in love with you. Oh. y'all but just true oh yes I do oh that was so cute that was the wedding singer before I ask you what you thought of this movie I want to ask you out of the last two Adam Sandler films you watched which one did you think was better? This or Happy Gilmore? This one. Casey loves romance. I do. And although in Happy Gilmore, romance was a small subplot, and I emphasize small because, I mean, they were just kind of there together. Yeah. I knew Casey was going to be a sucker for this one. Yeah, I really did enjoy Happy Gilmore. Like, it was a very just kind of like feel-good movie overall. This one, I feel like, did have a lot more depth to it that I really appreciated, and I just, I, I'm a sucker, like you said, for the romance plot line, and this had a very heavy romance plot line, and I loved it. I think we watched Blended yes. together, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember it that much, but I, I remember enjoying it after the fact. This movie kind of made me want to rewatch Blended, honestly. This movie made me want to rewatch 51st Dates. I love that one, too. Yeah. That was not, such a good one. We're not going to do that for the channel, because yeah. I feel like we probably will remember way too much. Regardless of that, I still enjoy this movie, I think, a little bit more than Happy Gilmore. Yeah. If I had to rank my top three Adam Sandler films, I will probably say Waterboy, Billy Madison, 
and Wedding Singer. Those are my top three. Yeah, this one was a really good one. And I mean, there were definitely aspects of comedy, but I feel like this one was very much more so a drama. Sort of, yeah. Comedy, a dramedy. Drama. Dramedy. Dramedy. I feel like that's the best way to describe it. Dramedy. Leave your comments below about what you want to see us react to next. There's a few Adam Sandler films out there that we haven't seen. When I say we, I mean she. And that literally, in my head, immediately goes to Mr. Deeds, The Longest Yard. I think Chuck and Larry's another one too. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.